Hi, my name is James Brunt. I'm an artist from Yorkshire in the UK. Um, I'm going to sort of do a little short film about my um, walk through Anson Stones Wood, where I make a lot of my work. So this is the entrance. It's not very pretty. The big sort of petrol sort of fuel station there. My house is two minutes walk back up that road. I've got Foxy here. She's with me as she always is. Um, and yeah, we're just going to have a walk around. So enjoy. So Anson Stones is a sort of narrow limestone gorge um, that runs sort of on the edge of South Hanston, heading towards Nottinghamshire. Um, some of the things we'll see is we, it, it has a railway line that kind of runs right through the the length of it as well, which um, is part of the old colliery line. So it's not particularly used that much today, but it's what ferried the coal around um, back when we were mining quite heavily in the country. Um, so there's a bit of recent sort of history there, which I'm sure my friend um, Tim Pugh would would appreciate to sort of um, work here, you know, with his love of sort of heritage um, stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I shall catch up in a bit, show you some more stuff. So I'm just crossing the old, um, old railway line now. You often yeah, get a few things now and again, probably doing track maintenance. Um, I don't know what the plans are for the future, but very rarely see um, trains on it now. It's quite icy, so I'm just being careful of my step. So this is Anston Brook. This runs through the gorge along with the railway line. And this um, eventually becomes the River Wrighton, just further down towards Nottinghamshire. And then it feeds into the Idle, and then into the Trent, then into the Humber Estuary, and out into the North Sea. Um, it's quite a nice little spot, this. Sometimes, um, I have in the past seen a kingfisher sort of um, patrolling up and down the waters, um, which is lovely. Um, first saw it a few years ago, and the first time in a while, so the fish are starting to come back. Haven't seen it for about a year, but hopefully they'll be back again soon. There's Foxy Look catching up. I love the shape of some of these hawthorns. Really gnarled. And if you look really closely here, look. This is evidence of something that I put together oh, probably three months ago. Love the backdrop of all the sort of wildness. So we're on the top path now, top of the gorge. So out over that way, it's sort of like a cliff face down. You can see that railway line just down there that cuts through. And just down there, look, that's um, Dead Man's Cave. Couldn't come to Anston Stones without showing you Dead Man's Cave. Some cracking spiders in there. But also in, you know, when they did an archeological dig of that site, probably 30, 40 years ago now, they found flint heads, bones from the Ice Age. So they think it was a kind of stop off point for traveling back in those days. And it's a, that's partly what makes it a site of um, specific interest. I really love this old yew tree. I quite like looking for natural frames to fill. And so I've worked here quite a lot because of this just this area and how it's framed with the roots and all that debris is um, evidence of an old work of mine but just cracking tree beautiful I love the frame that these little cliff edges give 
to the sort of picture. Just stunning. And every season it changes in colour. Really beautiful. So quite a busy path, so not one I often get to work on, but um, I have done, you know, the odd piece of work. And it's just, the framing's just glorious. love these big trees and this big lime that's growing out of the out of the rock just stunning and like underneath you get these little how long before it all collapses in these big lime trees that are growing along the edge just give off a beautiful delicate but quite big bright yellow leaves when they start to drop in autumn. Worked here once and a family walked past and I ended up, it was the losing light, it's getting dark and the little girl helped me finish it off. It's a really lovely moment. I just wanted to show you one of these little spaces. Along the cliff edge you get these little paths that run along. Um, this one cliff sides and you get lovely little spaces and frames to play with. Quite popular with rock climbers here and boulders. Often they don't really lead anywhere but which makes them quite quiet. And there's that railway line again that runs all the way through. It's about a mile long I guess sort of start to finish little gorge with various paths running parallel to each other. So we're heading down the side of the gorge now to the sort of lower level and we'll pick up the brook again. But we need to go under the railway line first. Lots of these lovely bridges Harking back to the days when it was busy with coal mines, coal trains, ferrying fuel around the country. And when you get down, the kind of landscape changes again. Back at the brook. Water's low, it has been really high recently with all the snow and the rain before that we've had, but it's settled back down to its more natural level. Love working there because that sound, that constant sound of the current, and every now and again you'll get a splash of sort of the brown trout moving around. When the water's low like this, you get these little bank sides of, of pebbles and often islands in the middle of um, banks of pebbles, which is just quite nice to play with at times because it gives you a different material. You know, it's, um, sticks and leaves a lot in the woodlands, but every now and again you get these little reveals of pebbles to play with. So this is quite a busy little clearing in Anson Stones. It's where two of the main paths kind of meet, so you get a lot of people here. So for that reason, I probably haven't worked here that much. But when I did, I wor worked under this sweet chestnut tree, which there aren't many sweet chestnuts in Anson Stones. Um, and it was a storm, really windy. And the sweet chestnuts, as I was working, they were literally raining down on me. And, they're quite spiky and they hurt. So this is one of my favourite spots. I quite like it because it's quite quiet. Because this little path doesn't really go anywhere. You kind of end up here at the top of quite a steep hill. So it's not a particularly well-walked path, but 
in terms of kind of like for me i like it because it's framed you're quite high up so you get this really lovely frame of almost being in the canopy level of the trees so i've done quite a lot of work here another favorite spot don't know why but i just love this beach forest it's just stunning trees one of my favorite trees the beach but i also love how this path changes over the seasons and gets framed in different ways it's really stunning really like the shapes that um, these upturned fallen trees the root systems beautiful shapes just started looking at them started noticing them more I'll come back to this one so that's pretty much it we're heading home now that's my little tour of Anstonstone's woods and some of the stuff I do here Right now, I'd be getting really excited for heading out to Texas and the Llano Earth Art Festival. Um, it's gonna be gutting not to catch up with everybody, but um, it's a real pleasure to show you around my little woodland, or my studio, as I like to call it. Um, I can't wait to catch up again with everybody. Um, in the meantime, stay creative keep making work you're all awesome um, keep putting on these fantastic events that bring so many people together um, you're all awesome too and I look forward to a time when we can all meet up and create together again soon and I'm back at that look at that little bridge that I'll cross heading towards my house which is a couple of minutes up up the path um, I hope you've enjoyed it um, I look forward to seeing what everyone else has done as well for um, Bee Leaf, the online Lana Work Art Festival 2021. See you later.